Hello, this is Les. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I finally got my second engine running. As you can see, this one is a push rod engine. It has uh, external timing gears. Um, the uh, rocker arms right here, carburetor on this side right here, uh, air valve right here to control the uh, air, and a needle valve on the bottom for the fuel. I originally had the engine set up to uh, operate on um, this ignition system right here and it did not work well very poorly in fact and it used a uh, hall sensor and I changed the hall sensor to a reed switch and installed a little ignition system that was designed by a Mr. Jan Ritters uh, from a, um, I guess you call it uh, a stove lighter, electronic stove lighter. It has this little coil. You have to make uh, several modifications, installing a larger capacitor and some additional transistors and resistors. Operates on one double A battery, uh, and it gives a good spark. I um, also had problems with uh, uh, good compression, and when I uh, eventually figured out that I needed an O-ring that was that fit a little different, uh, I was able to overcome that problem. Now the engine has. Uh, very good compression and it has this uh, bounciness which uh, I think is a sign that you have a good uh, a good fit with the piston um, and basically what I what I discovered is that the o-ring should fit in the cylinder bore uh, just a little bit tight uh, and it doesn't have to fit tight on the piston in fact, if the ID of the O-ring is a little bit larger than the, uh, the bottom of the groove in the piston, that's probably, that's probably a good thing. Um, I'll try to start the engine now, and hopefully it'll run. Prime the engine uh, with uh, thumb over the the air intake, the carburetor. <laughs> 